Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun little cooking demonstration for you. So my parents and my brother are here visiting for a few days and every year my dad makes peanut brittle back home and he gives it out to all the neighbors and then he'll ship some up to us. But I thought it would be fun for him to show us how to make peanut brittle. One, so then we can get some because they're here. And two, I wanted to be able to kind of carry this memory down so that my kids can watch their grandpa make peanut brittle and learn how to make it so the memory is passed on. So that's why I wanted to film this today. Oh, I'm going to bring my dad on. He's mildly embarrassed. Hi. And I have a huge audience behind me too, so I'm embarrassed too. It's okay. This is my dad. And uh, he's going to walk us through the ingredients really quick and kind of the steps on how we make peanut brittle. Right? Okay. Well, peanut brittle uh, is, is really very simple, but it, the, the sequence of putting it together is important. Uh, you start out with, with uh, carol syrup um, in, the, in the pan at first, that gets heated up and boiling. Then you add sugar and butter, um, and <clears throat> that has to come up to a, a really good solid boil mm -hmm. before you put the peanuts in. And you're temp doing your temperature gauge on the pan? Mm, yeah, so. the, the temperature is only, only really only important at the very end mm -hmm. uh, so that you don't get it too hot. And you, you get it all the way up to hard crack. Um, and for this batch, uh, one batch in a small pan like that, it's uh, one cup of, of sugar, one cup of peanuts, a quarter pound of, of butter, half a cup of, of corn syrup, and a half a teaspoon of baking soda at the very, very end. So it's really very basic and very simple as far as ingredients are concerned. So let's get started. Okay. So I would suggest taking the thermometer out just because it's just kind of in the way to start out. So we start out just putting, putting the... No, you just push it. Putting okay. it in the cap and turn the heat on and get her going here. <clears throat> Basically the, the starting position on this... Medium? Uh, medium high? A medium high, yeah. This is going to cook. Yeah. That starts to boil. Yeah. Um, just basically throw the butter in. Throw the, throw the sugar in. And the doll just kind of gets going. And the very end is, is kind of exciting, so you'd like to kind of have everything ready to go. They can sell the thermometer. Okay, Dad, will you explain when to add the peanuts? Okay, the, as you can see, it's just barely coming up to boil now, and the, and the butter uh, is uh, completely emulsified into the into the sugar. So this is just carol syrup and salt and, and sugar and butter, and it just comes up. And basically, what you're doing is you're boiling off the water in the carol syrup and uh, it doesn't take you very long to boil off the water in half a cup of carol syrup so it's going to go fairly fast but you want to have this up and boiling hard and starting to turn slightly tan before you put the peanuts in because peanuts are going to cool it off and turn it to be quite firm and difficult to, to stir and that's the, the, the greatest risk right then is is when the peanuts would spend too much time on the surface of the pan. So you have little burn spots on the peanuts. Okay. So when you put the peanuts in, it's continuously stirring, continuously moving them around so they don't spend more than just a couple of seconds on the surface of the pan so they don't scorch. Okay. Okay, we're close, Dad. Yep, we're ready to put the peanuts in. You notice that it's turned just slightly tan. I don't want it to go very dark at this point. Okay, so we're adding them? Throw them right in. All in. Okay. Now you'll notice that the, the syrup will now kind of turn a little bit solid. You want it to get back to being very fluid before you try to put the thermometer in it because okay. otherwise the thermometer just gets kicked around. You've got to keep it stirred. This is the time when you cannot be taking phone calls and, <laughs> and going off to do something else. You're here doing this. Right, this is 
and this is a continuous stir. And it will it will soften up and become liquid again and boil like crazy. Right. Do you need to try and separate those peanuts out at all, or just no, let it? Just let it you know, get some heat in there. And, uh, I'm gonna even turn the heat down just a little bit because now that we've got this really pretty close, it'll uh, turn it down a bit. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. There you go. It's getting a very nice tan color to it. That's the. The sugar is starting to caramelize just a little bit. Now you can see that it's getting it's getting runny a little bit. Mm -hmm. it's starting to boil again. Now you can see that it's really quite fluid. I can put the thermometer in, and I'm guessing that it's going to be about 260 right now, and. But the idea is to get it up to 300 and then call it quits. Where are we? Two. Two. This is a hard bone. Anyway. I can't read this yet. We're almost at 300. Was it really getting that close? Right? Yeah, you're right. I'm sneaking up. Okay. Uh, at this point, uh, you know that it's going to be going up rapidly. So take the thermometer out. Okay. okay. That can just be set aside and, and we get ready for the next batch. We need to do toss, the... Toss in the... the baking soda? Baking soda. Just ready? Drop it in. Stir it in and this way to make it foam up. And frothy, you want to make sure it's stirred in. You don't want to bite into a mouthful of baking soda. Okay, this is this is going to be fine. Okay, turn the stove off. Okay, let's take this over. All right, so we quickly poured it onto this buttered cookie sheet. Right, Dad? Yep. Make sure that there's plenty of butter in the center of the cookie sheet, because that's where it's going to stick, and it's going to stick. And make sure that the surface that this is on can tolerate the heat because this is very warm okay now how long do you leave it there okay this has to cool and let's just scoot this over to where we can kind of get at it the edges um are will solidify first and that's where you if you want to if you want thin peanut brittle that's when you this is now this is when you need to stretch them and stretch the edges you just kind of work your way around the edges to, to do the stretching. How long do you think you leave it on the pan before we flip it? Well, you'll start seeing that, that it's not not really... When, it, when you're to this level of, of, of stiffness in the center, getting closer to the center, that's when you flip it over. Okay. Um, Flip this over okay. onto the surface, okay. and then I'm going to use the spatula to go in underneath and separate it from the pan. You, need, you need a spatula that's sturdy enough that you're not likely to break it. Sometimes this candy gets pretty hard pretty quick. Okay. Now let's just play the, the stretchy game. Since you've turned it over, now it puts the peanuts in the middle of the candy, whereas the, they were on top of it before. And now you can see as, it's, as, it, as it cools quickly here on the granite, uh, uh, it gets brittle. <laughs> Yeah, it's cooling off. <laughs> this is this is this is part of what makes it really a fun family activity because is the activity everybody gets in there with a pair of forks and starts doing their thing. And, okay, first uh, batch done. Yeah, first batch. <laughs>